Wind is an abundant source of energy. There's a lot of wind offshore. There's a lot of wind in mountain ranges. There's a lot of wind in the plains, the trade winds around the world. And we've only just started tapping into that market. The longer your blade, the more wind you can capture, the more energy you can produce. As soon as you get to these longer blades, you start running into logistics issues. If you think about trying to drive a 100 meter long blade down the street, you're trying to drive something as long as a football field. Some of the areas that you can reach with a two-piece blade are essentially off limits with a one-piece blade. With a split-piece blade, you can customize the length of the main body or the tip to accommodate the road. And what that does is it unlocks a lot of places that traditionally were off limits for wind. You definitely reduce that logistical cost. It's almost exponential in some cases when you get longer and longer blades. It would be great to have this sustainable form of energy in our future, but the reality is there is some dollar value associated with it. And for some people and for some businesses in some countries, the thing that matters is can we do it at a reasonable cost and can we do it in a way that makes sense and doesn't jeopardize anybody else's you know, financial future. We've got to drive down material costs, we've got to drive down labor costs, we've got to be innovative with our designs, and we've got to really look at the constraints that we have that drive the cost up on wind energy, and we need to be tackling those. There's a lot of elements that can hang off this new technology. For the human race, this world needs more and more power every year. So we want to really support that energy demand with the most green form of energy generation. Wind power is a really effective way of generating energy. These blades have got some of the largest challenges in the world to transport them around, to build them, to manufacture them efficiently. This is what drives us. We want to see wind powering massive percentages of power consumption in America.